Carverite STL import software. Tutorial number one. Importing relief patterns. In the Carverite designer software, go to the file menu, select import, and then select import STL file. The STL import wizard window will open and prompt you to choose an STL file. Select browse, locate the desired STL file, and select open. The file opens first in the orientation window. You can rotate and move the model around in all six spatial and rotational directions in this window. Notice the orientation cube rotates with the model. The cube allows you to see what axis you are viewing in real time. The imported STL may not be oriented in the preferred direction at first. Generally, we want the z-axis to be facing forward or out of the screen because this represents the downward direction of the carving bit in the machine. Using the rotational buttons here, we can orient the model to face any direction desired. This import screen also displays the dimensional units of the imported model. Usually these units are the units that the model was originally designed and created in. You can quickly change these units, if needed, by using the drop-down box in the Model Design Units box. The model also has a set of working units, which are used for the rest of the import process. In this case, the model's design units are centimeters, but the working units are set to inches. These working units can also be changed here at any time. Once we have our model oriented, we can look at our overall model depth by looking at our z-axis. This shows a little more than 2 inches of depth. Since our maximum carving depth is 3 quarters of an inch, and we are wanting to import this in as a pattern, let's change the depth to 3 quarters of an inch, or 0.75 inches. Now we are ready to move on to the next screen. In the slicing window, we are once again able to rotate our model and view it from any angle. We now see a green plane behind the model and a circular plane at the bottom of the model. The green plane behind the model is our slicing plane, and the circular plane provides a visual reference to indicate the model's orientation that was set in the previous window. We can spin the slicing plane around, set it to a specified angle, or reset it back to its default orientation. We can also tilt it up and down, enabling us to slice the model in any direction. Notice the slider bar here that controls the depth of the slice. The slice depth defaults to 3 quarters of an inch, but we can change it by moving the slider. We've already set the depth of this pattern at 3 quarters of an inch, so with the slider at full depth, we'll slice this pattern. Now we select the next button and proceed to the next window. The Confirm Import window allows us to view all the model slices we created and check them. Make sure all slices have the green slice plane behind the pattern with the pattern facing forward or out of the screen. This will ensure that it imports into the designer software correctly. Down here there are a couple of pattern option buttons. The top one is the full depth button. This button requires the generated pattern to be placed all the way to the bottom of the board when it is placed on the board. The other button allows you to flip the pattern if you need the inverse. The slices are now ready to be imported into individual patterns. Next, select Favorites in the Save Mode box, change the pattern name if desired, verify that the directory path for the save pattern is correct, and select Finish. The patterns have now been imported into the designer. Now back in the Project Designer software, create a new project with the preferred board dimensions. Select the blue shell to open the pattern library, and under Favorites, find your newly generated patterns. Click on the icon of the pattern and click the board location to place it. The pattern shows on the project board exactly as we have prepared it. It is relative to the bottom of the board, but we can change the depth if we choose to shallow up the pattern as appropriate for our project. We are now finished. 
we have created our first pattern in the CarveWrite STL importer.